1236 that I just picked up. Got a lot of rusty parts, a lot of surface rust here. This, oof, I hope I can get that out of there. Let's see. That's center. I shot in some uh, PV blaster. Get that stuff over there. Put some of that in there, and I have the whole thing tipped up so the PV blaster would tilt and settle down behind that spur drive there. See how that looks. This, this moves, okay, so at least it's not, nothing seized, I don't think. Like this turns, you know, the motor runs. I, I plugged it in before it runs. This moves, this turns. This looks like a home, like a homemade uh, tool rest. Looks pretty beefy. It's nice I like that. I'll have to polish that out. Here's the tailstock. See how Let's see, is it this way? Loosen, yeah, loosen. Okay, that moves, that's good. This thing I'm not sure if this moves or not. Let's see. Alright, I'll loosen that. Oh good. That's good, that's not frozen. Okay, I guess you can change the centers on this thing. But that might be just to take it off so you can fix or the bearing in there. Sorry, I accidentally hit the stop button before. So I guess this is kind of like a, a before video. Because after I clean this up and polish it up, I'll uh, do another video and see what it looks like when I'm done. Move that chair out of the way. It's a little tight fitting here. I can't really quite walk around. Yeah, that looks good. Hold on, let me do it. You know, I'm going to plug this in. I'll do a quick demo of the, uh, the Reeves drive. See how that's working. Okay. Got her plugged in here. Making sure everything was clear of that before I start anything. There's the start button. this one and supposedly the Harbor Freight clone does not have this on the spindle which is these are like indexing marks I guess if you want to do like if you want to mount the lathe on here and cut flutes into legs you can you know exactly how much you turned you know with this somehow I don't know supposedly that's how that works and there's some other differences between this and the Harbor Freight a clone of this but I forgot what they are but anyway yeah it looks good from what I've heard the Harbor Freight on the handle here is really cheap feeling where this is like solid and supposedly I, I don't know for a fact because I've never seen the Harbor Freight clone in person but supposedly the Harbor Freight one they say this feels like uh, like the same plastic they make wiffle bats out of or something <laughs> I don't know I don't know how true that is. But yeah, I'll see what I can do with this thing. See how cleaned up I can get this. I'm probably going to open up this and uh, inspect the belt and the pulleys and make sure everything's all cleaned up in there and 
working right before I actually try to start using this thing. So uh, then I gotta find a spot in the shop. There's my old leaf, my old craftsman. That I don't know what to do with that now. I'm probably gonna sell that. And I'm debating whether to keep this on the legs here or take it off the legs. I don't know, but then I got nowhere to put the switch. No, oh, I guess I'll keep this on the legs. I'll probably put it over there next to this bench for now when it's all set up, but eventually that's all gonna get cleaned out and I'll have a whole back wall over there. I might end up it might end up back there. We'll see. To be continued. Jet JWL twelve thirty six woodworking lady. Mud wasp inside the tailstock body here. Looks like it's pretty funny. It was in a barn for quite some time, this leaf. There it is. I pretty much cleaned up this whole top. I waxed this and everything. Well, put one coat of wax that hasn't dried yet on the, the exposed metal parts there. Cleaned up the front a little bit. I don't know. I don't really care if it looks too pretty. As long as it's functional, that's all I want. Okay, yeah, I got a lot further in this thing. Cleaned up that. Cleaned up the, the whole bed. Cleaned up this tool thing. The tool rest. Uh, I think they call it, they say it's called the banjo. I cleaned that whole thing out. I cleaned up this. I have to admit, in between I've been using this thing. I had to... I wanted to turn a couple little projects, so I was, I was actually using this already before I finished cleaning it up, but that's okay, because it does work, so you can see. Oh, new uh, live center there, which I didn't know about this tailstock. This is neat. You, 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 know, you, you put a piece of wood on here and you tap that in, but to get it out, you just back this thing. If you, if you crank this handle and go backwards, it pushes out the tailstock, which I thought was neat. Wait, hold on. Oops. I just tighten this up a little bit. If you turn this, you crank it. You watch, see? It pulls back the spindle and pushes out your mortise. Which is neat. So you don't have to drive a, a rod in here to tap this out. You just if you can crank if if it's you know if it works. I guess you can still put a rod in here and bang it out if it's really stuck. But uh, that's neat that that does that. I didn't know that did that. My old craftsman didn't do that, so I had no idea. I haven't used a larger lathe since high school. Okay. Next thing I need to clean. I need to clean up this handle and. Uh, I wanted to open this up and look at the reefs drive and see how that's looking. And it works fine, but uh, I don't know how clean or dirty it is in there. So uh, let me get a screwdriver and I'll just take off this cover so we can take a look inside. Hey, got the last screw out of here. Let's take this cover off. And there it is. Let's see. Doesn't look too bad. Some Spider webs in there, it looks like. It's a little dusty and dirty. Other than that, it doesn't look too bad. 
considering this thing supposedly sat in a barn for many years. And let's see. I got this on a very low speed. Let's start it. Here we have the start button. There's the new side. Oh, if you pull this out. And you see this action, ready? There we go. You know that works? Pulling the pull it over. Huh. Interesting. Interesting. Something sounded like it was rattling here. I don't know if that's this with this washer when this gets loose or something, but I don't know what that was. Let me try that again. See if I can spot what. It's with the bearing on the motor or something, but I, that, would, that would be the worst uh, scenario, worst case scenario. But we'll see. Okay, I'm gonna clean this up and I'll film some more later. Take care. Okay, I cleaned this up best I can without uh, without actually taking this apart. I, I just went in here with a, a brass brush and a plastic brush and cleaned and use some compressed air to blow the dust out and everything and then uh, on this shaft here this this whole assembly like slides back and forth on that shaft I lubricated that with this uh, dry film tepl you know, Teflon lubricant because you don't want anything oily so non oily because if anything oily in here all the sawdust is gonna stick right in there you don't want any of that. And this shaft too, because this gets, when this uh, closes, this shaft, it slides back and forth on this shaft. So I, I lubricated that as well with this. And so far, so good. Even the belt looks great. I mean, auto. I don't know if that's the right belt for this, but you know, it looks good. It seems to be working fine. Whoever replaced it did a good job. And there it goes. Uh, and so I'm gonna clean that up. See that looks nice. Look at that. Got all the rust off of that. That looks much better now. It's a little speed selector. There it is. See? Even the the rattling seems to have, uh, even that slight rattle, which I think this is, it's this, I don't know, because it seems to only do it when this opens all the way up, it rattles a little bit, so I think maybe one of these is like, maybe this is a little loose or something, I don't know, but uh, other than that, this thing works great now, it's pretty awesome, I have no idea how accurate these speed settings are, I don't know, one, two, three, they tell you the 
I think the manual tells you what the speeds are, but I, I don't know how accurate it is because this seems to be very variable. Like there's a lot of variances in there. But okay, I love this thing. It's my new toy. JWL1236 Woodworking Lathe by Jet. I'm going to go around here. See how nice that looks now. Oh, and I lubricated that with the Teflon as well. Everything on this thing I either lubricated with uh, Johnson's Paste Wax, which is what I do with surfaces with. Same thing like with my table saw and the jet saw and the bandsaw, which I have a jet bandsaw it matches. Look at that, same color. Okay, that's about it. Goodbye, people. Okay, one little silly note I noticed with this thing, uh, these screws, I was going to go try to get another one because I thought there was a screw missing, but it turns out that there's not even a hole tapped here. I don't know if you could see that or not, but wait, hold on one second. See, they forgot to, it looks like there's supposed to be a screw there and they didn't tap the hole for it. So, yeah, there's that. Cleaned up these I didn't do, but I don't know, maybe someday I'll clean all this up and paint the whole thing blue again. Okay. Hey, that's it, I think, finally. So now I can get to using this thing. Alright, because it looks looking good. Pretty nice.